Hello there guys, Coach Shell here, Dogster Born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park predictions video. This is the second of the three uh, spring 2022 predictions. Uh, this is from Cedar Fair Theme Parks. Uh, so not a lot of changes from these predictions, but there is, you know, some altercations here and there. Um, but we're going to have a look at them and share my thoughts on them. So before we get started, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. Uh, make sure you go check the description for social media links and Google Forms for your own video ideas. And for now, let's have a look at my Cedar Fair predictions for spring 2022. Well, my spring Cedar Fair predictions for 2022. Kind of got my words mixed up there because I'm very excited about the potential projects for next year. So we're kicking off with the off years. Now there are several parks that are going to be taking off years. Uh, California's Great America, Canada's Wonderland. We also have Kings Island, Knott's Berry Farm, Michigan's Adventure, Valley Fair and Worlds of Fun. Now I want to get those ones completely out of the way. Uh, I think in terms of off years, it could be as simple as just events. It could be as simple... Uh, as just new entertainment, any TLC around the park. We know that Michigan's Adventure's been uh, painting up their SLC, the Thunderhawk, uh, in a brand new colour scheme, which was a nice bit of TLC for this season. You know, even stuff like that would be would be nice for the next season as well. So I, I fully expect them to be TLC years. But now uh, let's go into the main predictions for the other parks: Carowind, Cedar Point, Dorney Park, and Kings Dominion. And we start with Carowinds. So we start with Carowinds for main predictions, and uh, my early prediction was an antique uh, car ride to replace the Dinosaurs Alive site, and trust me, my prediction remains the same. I expect an antique car ride, a classic antique car ride. Look at Kings Island, what they did with the antique car ride, and how that came into the park uh, a couple of years ago. I do expect Carowinds to now do the same, and you know, will Carowinds add a brand new roller coaster in their in their future in the next few years? I fully expect that as well. Uh, but I think for the Dinosaurs Alive site, it's all about bringing in this this classic antique car ride, uh, the classic family attraction where where the kids and the and the adults you're at the wheel of your own antique car, and I think that it's a real classic attraction that Cedar Fair are really looking to bring back into their theme parks now, and uh, I think that Carowinds will benefit entirely 100% from this classic vintage attraction. Next up, Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio, arguably the king of the Cedar Fair theme parks, and uh, my prediction early on was an off year and preparation for 2023. However, um, this is potentially a very exciting year in 2022 for Cedar Point because I've got two predictions for brand new roller coasters for Cedar Point at this early stage in the spring predictions. Uh, now, of course, they could go the B&M route. That could be a possibility if, you know, B&M flyer, people want the B&M flyer. But my main prediction here is the Gerslau project. Now, obviously, there's other parks that are rumored to get the Gerslau project. I know a lot of... Uh, Coaster sites and theme park sites have been naming parks like uh, Silver Dollar City, Dollywood, uh, even Glenwood Caverns could be a, a, a dark underdog uh, for this potential Gerslau project. But Cedar Point is the one I'm betting on right now. And I think even though I said Silver Dollar, Silver Dollar City still got a chance. It's between Sil Cedar Point and Silver Dollar City. So this prediction might not happen. If so, it could be just another off year for, it, for Cedar Point and just extra investment years to help continue the, the vintage side of the park's history and to help continue the anniversary celebrations into another year. Um... But I think that Cedar Point has a 50-50 chance of being the Gerslau Project's home uh, with, a, with a challenging site. So you've got to work in and around the Cedar Creek Mine Route, which is where I think this is going to go, uh, to replace the antique car ride in that sort of area of the theme park and use the grass area around the Cedar Creek Mine Ride. Um, you know, steepest drop record or an inversion record for this ride. Gerslau Infinity Coaster. It's a very, very interesting prediction indeed. And I think between Cedar Point and Silver Dollar City, the, the Gerslau Project could go either way. Obviously, more will be revealed in the next few months uh, from this project and it should be very very exciting to see uh, what will happen but I think either Cedar Point or Silver Dollar City is getting this coaster uh, but Cedar Point being on there is definitely very very exciting for their fans indeed. Next up, Dorney Park, and I predicted the Gravity Group wooden shuttle coaster replacing the Stinger site, and I'm going to stick with that prediction. I do think that will come in 2022. This is a 2022 project. Uh, even though we haven't heard much from that uh, as of in recent months, um, I do believe that Dorney Park will still be on to add this, uh, will begin to add this, and I feel like Dorney Park, again, will, will benefit from this coaster. It's a, a nice family thrill roller coaster. You know, it's a great investment for the park, and I think that 
um, it's, it's, it's a great, you know, modern, modernized wooden roller coaster for the theme park. So I'm very excited about Dorney Park and what they're doing. Finally, King's Dominion, and I predict uh, what I think they're going to be adding anyway, and that is the SNS40 free spin uh, to replace the crypt with the bamboo themed supports leading to a jungle theme. And I've gone with that st spring prediction of a jungle themed 4D free spin to replace the clipped. Um, again, very easy prediction here. It's going to happen in 2022, in my opinion, along with uh, Dorney Park and uh, obviously Carowinds' antique car ride and potentially a Cedar Point roller coaster as well. Uh, I think that, you know, King's Dominion and Dorney Park and Cedar Point and to an extent Carowinds with their antique car ride, I think they'll be the focus of investment for 2022. Obviously, we'll hopefully hear more about them in the summer um, months as we as we pass by through the summer, but uh, it's going to be very, very interesting to see uh, what happens with that. But King's Dominion, fully expect this coaster to go ahead and then in a couple of years' time, we'll get the replacement for Volcano, the Blast Coaster. So there we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Seeks of All Ages. That is my Cedar Fair Spring 2022 predictions. Still got one more to film, and that's the Million Entertainment's predictions for 2022. So stay tuned for that one tomorrow uh, as, of, as of watching this. Um, but there we go. Obviously, four parks are going to be at the helm of 2022. Carowinds, Cedar Point, Donny Park, and Kings Dominion, in my opinion. Um, other parks will follow in, in future years. Maybe 2023 could be Canada's Wonderland, Canada Wonderland year. Um, maybe Kings Island gets a coaster to replace Vortex in a few years' time, around the 2025 mark. Um, hopefully, Worlds of Fun and Valley Fair and Michigan's Adventure get their shot in the spotlight. And... Uh, hopefully not very Farm gets their next one as well. Uh, there's a lot of parks that I'd like to see get new roller coasters. I think that uh, they'll have their time as soon as possible. But uh, there we go, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coast Child. Keep it on the coast live. Stay tuned for tomorrow. I'm going to record the Million Entertainment prediction video now as of recording this. And then I'm going to release it uh, tomorrow as you're watching this. Very confusing, I know. Thank you very much. Have a thrill-tastic day.